weren't you supposed to be launched? And if so, like, what are you, what are you doing here? You were launched to, to save humanity, right? Welcome back, everybody, to Final Station. I am your host, conductor for the evening, shotgun-wielding maniac known as Birdman. We have another shotgun-wielding maniac over there who apparently did a number on these zombie oil, zombie monster, whatever they might be, aliens, whatever. Um, this is where we left off last time. Let's let's talk to him, I guess. Or, oh, huh, that's uh, quite the predicament here. Well, here's how it's gonna work out. I, I gotta blow up. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, come on! You tell me a shotgun blast didn't really hit that fire, dude? I'm hoping we get him to destroy everybody for us, you know? That's what I'm hoping for here. But, um, it's not really... Oh, oh, that didn't hit him! That hit him. Okay, there we go. Yeah! <laughs> I mean, it took many more shots than I really wanted it to, but, you know, whatever. We got the job done. For what, though? For a medkit. Was that worth it? Uh, I don't know. Probably not really. But now we have the exit to the shortcut area, which is cool. Let's, um, yeah. Well. Looks like it's my turn to ride on your train. Let's go. What? Just like that? No information about this guy at all? Oh, I can't break that window. I can't get over there. Don't you dare tell me. Fuck you, window. Yeah, I'm sorry. No window is safe when the Birdman's around. Uh, 5238. This guy just got into my train without giving me any information about him. I don't like him too much now. Alrighty, well, we still have a couple of more areas to go through here. Especially, I have a door over there. Okay, so here's where something's gonna bad badly happen. I'm gonna probably grab this, I'm gonna try, try to toss it at one of these monsters, I'll end up blowing myself up. You know how this works out. So what instead if we just... I don't want to talk about that. Just don't want to talk about that at all. <laughs> I forgot I had the shotgun equipped. I thought thought I had the rifle for some reason. So I was moving back. The shotgun obviously destroys it in one blast because it's a shotgun blast. And then the rifle gives it a little bit of a timer. So I shot it with the shotgun and it blew up instantly as opposed to giving me some time to retreat. That's fine. It's fine. I ain't worried too much right now anyway. Let's... um. Reload you as well. Oh, I saw what the shotgun does now. The upgrade that we got for it last time, it just lets you um, reload faster. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Anything else over here? No? Okay. So, we're done. And Unless you guys remind me different. What was the point of this room just now? Just to kill those guys? Because they didn't give me anything. We read this last time. Yeah, there was nothing in here, right? Oh, come on. I hate these rooms that you walk in there and nothing happens. Yeah. I got nothing from this. Just a waste of ammunition. So I think we're done here, right? Yeah, we got the code. It's time for us to go. Although, if you don't mind, I'll take the shortcut that we unlocked over here. Alright. Oh, let's see. So, do I gotta take care of... Oh, wait. We have a door here. How do we miss you? Jars? Soap? I guess we're not done yet. And correct me if I'm wrong, but those pictures down there, aren't those some of the people on our train at some point or another? Like, um, the lady right there reminds me of the last one we had. I think her name was like Olga Williams. The other people, I can't really tell. I think the first one reminds me of somebody else, though. This second or fourth guy, I really can't tell who those people are, but... Uh, pills and rags? Pills here! Ah, you know what? I'm not gonna deal with you. I don't want you biting my face off today. I almost got them, do you understand? The police should be dealing with this, not you. They don't believe me. You should try to get Martha back instead. Fuck you, window. Um, you almost got them. God, who? These people here? Have I been transporting, like, bad people somehow? What is reality? I don't even know what's happening anymore. Because, see, that donut up there has to be with this, right? Because this is all, like, one single house here, so we had that... 
talk up there. We have those pictures. Then we have the picture of me down below as well. Let's not forget that part. Oh, I can't come in through here? I guess we have to go around. Let's not forget my picture down there below as well. Is that the, the guy with the shotgun here? I guess we'll find out. Five, two, three, eight. I'm very confused about everything, so I need to talk to this guy. All right, I gotta probably feed him and take care of his injuries. Well, I don't think he's injured, so he should be fine. But I'll probably have to feed him. I'm gonna try to make a very good effort here to actually read what this guy has to tell us, assuming he even talks. Hi, right, buddy. I need you to start talking right now. It must be so great to just travel along the railroad. Don't have to make any decisions, don't have to pick a route. Just maintain the speed and maintain the train. I'm bored to death here. You are the only one left. And I will have to wait until you turn. Turn? Don't worry, you can't escape this. What's happening back there? This is going to happen to everyone. What is going to happen to everyone? But I haven't turned so far. Your train will soon stop. Engineering is not my strength. But I recognize very well what this engine is made of. This radiation has protected you for a long time. It's time to move on. No. It's not a virus. It's a medicine. It's just too powerful for some people. Whatever happens, I'll be waiting. To meet you in the new world. Or, you know, the second option. Um, Dad? Oh, shit. Uh, oh! No, everything's failing! Okay. <laughs> I was scripted for a second there. I thought I just screwed something up. Um, I got a gun. Do you want me to shoot this guy now or what? Should we shoot him? Huh? What about I? Oh, I can't. I can't hurt him. Okay. I can talk to him apparently though. I will keep an eye on you. Will you? I mean, I'm not certain. I I, I follow what you were even talking to me about right now. Oh, we're out the train now. Okay. Well. Well, I got a load of ammo. Not too much of the old shotgun. Should have probably made a couple more shotgun shells, but I was too busy trying to read what Homeboy was telling us about, because I figured it'd be kind of important. Oh, well. We have five medkits at the very least, though, so, technically speaking, we can't hold out for a while. Got a box. An underground area. Oh, nope. There we go. Oh, of course. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm How do we play you? Please go up. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Um. Let's see. Oh, I can't shoot from the ladder. There's got to be stairs, right? It's fine. Just give me a second. I'll come up and around. I had the shotgun equipped again. God, I gotta start looking at the ammunition when I have this gun equipped. It, it just confuses me with the rifle too often, you know? That's why I miss the handgun even more. Never confused it with the shotgun. Now I have this constant issue where I'm constantly confusing these goddamn weapons together. All right, he's gotta go down. Just go down right now. Well, either way. They're down. That's what really matters. Doesn't matter how you bring them down as long as they go down. There's a body here. Shotgun ammo. There we go. All is well that ends well. And fuck you, window. Who's up here? Clothing. Like, I'm still confused why they're giving me items. Because this feels like very, like, hey, you're probably in the very last location of the game, considering your train just broke down, but... What the hell is that? You look kind of fleshy. Which worries me a lot. 
All right. Well, nothing. Petro. Medkit cigarettes. <laughs> okay. Bring it. Bring it. Just keep, keep going. I got you. Keep, keep, keep going. Come on. There we go. Cool. So with them out the way, you guys aren't much of a big deal. There you go. Who else wants some of Debo? Got a body up there. All right. Oh, a window too. You don't know how I feel about those, because fuck you, window. What's in here? Whiskey, toilet paper? It's a very good combination. I don't mind that combination at all in a post apocalypse scenario. Like, if you're looking for, for, like, you know, supplies and you find whiskey and toilet paper, I think you've done pretty well for yourself. Oh, Jesus Christ! Well, you know what? I'll take it. Minimal damage, I'll take it. That was mostly just, like, literally a reaction. <laughs> I didn't even think about that one. I just suddenly saw smoking as I was like, you know, fuck it, just toss whatever's on my hand. We got a key. That was just literally a fight or flight scenario. And apparently this time around I decided to fight, which is um, pretty neat to me. Coins. Pop this open. Oh, goodness God. You guys are really loading it up with these fire guys, huh? You know they'd be kind of a hassle to bring down in the future. Alrighty, how do we play this one out? Um, I think we ignore him for a while. Assuming we can. Medkit clothing. Well, there's a lot of medkits they're giving me for a reason, I guess. Maybe we just go in there, take the blast of the face, and heal up. Or we could just try to go around. That's another option. A lot of dudes. Lots of dudes. Alright, I got the rifle equipped now, right? He's down. Hey, uh, little fellas. You wanna indulge me over here? Yeah, let's come over here. I'll just melee the shit out of you. Excuse me. You were shot once already. I expect you to take less uh, melee hits because of that. Oh hey, how you doing? Did we ever find out what the big guys do? I never. I don't think I've ever like fallen to these guys, and I really I'm not gonna check it out now. But I'm still curious about it. This guy's got the goo coming out of his face. My friend, you got the goo coming out of your face. One of your eyeballs, actually, or eye sockets, more technically. Wires, coins. All right. Got an exit over here. And a, a fuck you window, of course. And nothing else. Alright. Hmm. Green line bus again, huh? What is this? Clothing train driver's uniform. Okay. What the hell is this? What is that? What is this? What's happening? Is that blood? I'm not sure that's, like, this looks like blood for sure, but what is this over here? This, like, yellow substance. Oh yeah, it's blood for sure. Okay. <laughs> well. Oh, cool. Yeah, just follow the red blood trail. Mm, technically, it would be red. It's blood after all. But you know what I'm saying. You gotta follow the blood trail. All right. Well, I hope this kind of loops back into that area that we skipped earlier from the flamer down below. Oh, Jesus Christ. This guy... Okay. How did how the hell did um bleeding individual here get through this wall without the wall, like, reforming itself again? Like, I'm just saying. Doesn't make too much sense to me now, does it? Oh, was this guy? Hey, buddy. Well, what's going on here? You got a suitcase, huh? A hundred thousand in money. <laughs> uh, it's, isn't like like that's kind of like ironic, right? It's meant to be ironic, I guess. Like this guy apparently did something to get a hundred thousand dollars, but in the process he died doing it. So he basically died trying to achieve like you know fame and fortune in a dying world or something. I don't know. Okay, Falcon, just just hit the floor and then toss. Okay. Eh, hey, you know what? That's actually very minimal. And you know what? I'll use the medkit on that too. Okay. Was this literally everything? God, I hate this game sometimes. Ah! <laughs> so, we came down here. 240 money. I feel like the game's just mocking me at this point. We got some pretty good... Well, we got a shotgun ammo. Which is kind of what we wasted just now. Eh, you know, whatever. Was it worth it? I don't know. I mean, assuming we continue with the game, yeah, because we got 240 more dollars, which sounds pretty decent, but... 
I feel like the game's just mocking me with money at this point. Alrighty, so let's see what happens after a hundred thousand. Hmm, interesting. You can check it out to continue, but you can't read it. So yeah, let's find out what happens after a hundred thousand dollar discovery over here. Which, by the way, like, I mean, I'm not trying to sound like, you know, I don't need money because <laughs> I'm a poor person, but $100,000 does seem very minimal in a situation like this. Like, it would kind of, like, make more ironic sense if it was, like, a million dollars. Then again, would it be possible to have a million dollars in the suitcase? That's something I don't really know. But, um, hey, giant Gundam hand here, huh? Weren't you supposed to be launched? And if so, like, what are you, what are you doing here? You were launched to, to save humanity, right? I feel like we've been lied to <laughs> this entire time. I feel like a giant fucking tool. That guardian doesn't seem like our savior right now, does he? Here's this motherfucker again. I left you in a train. How did you get here before I did? Did I loop around or what? Yeah, we'll talk to you soon, I guess. But before I do, I gotta... Ha! Gotta investigate, I guess. Well, let's just talk to him now, I guess. Since we could continue down that way afterwards. The giant robot will save everyone. You're lying to me. That does not look like a savior to me, dog. That's all you got to tell me? The giant robot was not going to save anybody, dude. Giant robot needs saving here at the moment. X. You know what's really interesting? Remember all those notes we kept on finding about the guy in the dream in the desert or whatever? And they were always signed by X, and there's been a lot of X's this entire run. Now you start thinking about it. And who's Shotgun Man, too? What if he's X? I don't know. I can tell you it's fuck you, window. And you, too. I opened something up over here. Oh! Ha ha ha! You thought I missed it, didn't you? No siree, Bob. <laughs> fuck you, window. What is this? Oh, there's another one up there. Alright, look, we can't get that one. I'm pretty sure we can't anyway. Let me try it. I'll try it. Nope. Can't do it. Later. It'll go down, I assure you. Okay. Oh, no! Well, that was the only way we could go right now, actually. So that's fine. Maybe you can get that window after all. Oh, good God. Well, wherever we're at, it feels like this is going to be like heavy-duty answers time, right? Yo, this is the start of the game now, isn't it? This is that jail cell I told you guys about last time, where we saw the, the shotgun guy the first time. Ha! Yeah, 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 yeah. That's locked. Okay. Clothing. Med kid. Empty. Cigarettes. Hoo-hoo. That's quite a bit of a problem up there. But there is a body I kind of want to get involved with here, so... Um... Do we just try to lure Fire Dude? I mean... Well, everybody got lured over here, which is fine. Fire Dude! Yeah, yeah, keep going to the right. No, Fire Dude! Oh, you shit! <laughs> okay. Well played, game. Very well played. Okay. But I still got the best of you now, didn't I? My, my reckless, carelessness kind of um, got me out of there just fine. Thank God I have so much ammo saved up. You gotta lose that helmet, and then you gotta die that way. Hoo-hoo. Okay. I didn't expect that happening. I was trying to, like, loop around and then shoot a fireman by, you know, dragging him over to us, but... Gotta keep beat. You know what? I don't gotta fight you guys. Don't gotta do it. Clothing. 
I'm gonna take the steer just in case, though. Oh, fine, oh, fine. Key, key required. Oh, didn't I just get the like, key, key B? Oh, there's probably two keys, I get you. Oh, there it is! Pistol ammo. Hmm. So here's key A. Right, and then we use key B, which is the other body we just got. Let's, uh, how do I set you down again momentarily? There we go. Okay. Well, we opened something up. Hoo-hoo. Well, technically speaking... Yeah! Oh, no, 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 kill! Get the rest of them! Ya bitch! I was hoping you'd blow everybody up over there for me. Do we even deal with that? I mean, we have the opening passage over here, right? Uh, whatever. Let's just do it. So, grab that. I think we should be fine as long as I retreat and... Okay, I got it hurt there. It's fine, it's fine. Oh, I got hurt there a lot, actually. Our helmet and eh, let's drop a medkit. Why not? <laughs> Test subject: Peter Elliot, manager. Offense: petty theft. Traits: obedient, passive. Huh. So, huh? Is this like? I have to imagine that body we just killed right now. That was Peter Elliot, right? Maybe. Is this being read as, no, this, considering there's a crime involved, like a petty theft, would that mean that this was him as a human, right? And then he committed a petty theft, and then we brought him in here, or they brought him in here, and then they conducted the experiment on him? And turned him into the, the, the zombies thing? So it was man control the entire time. I don't know. Hmm. Test, test subject Amanda Barriott, unemployed. D204 multiple aggravated assaults. Traits rude, introverted. The fuck is happening? I'm telling you, like, obviously, they wouldn't commit these crimes and then get locked up as the zombie oil thing, right? So it's gotta be that these people committed a crime, they got locked up for, you know, bullshit reasons, like, you know, well, I guess petty theft, whatever. So they got locked up, and then they used this experiment on them, and that's what turned them. So we were behind this whole alien thing. <laughs> Test subject Robert Wright, unemployed. Offense? G212, multiple homicide arson. Oof. Aggressive. Hmm. You know what I just thought about? <laughs> arson, that's cute. That's very cute. Leave me alone! Um... What I just thought about? What did I just think about? I had a thought right now that I wanted to share with you guys. And I lost it because I guess they are chasing me down. Oh, it'll come back at some point. Test subject, John Garriott, engineer. Developer? Offense? No offense. Traits purposeful? Highly intelligent. Oh, yeah! I wonder if we go back and we read the names of the passengers that we delivered. What if um, the names of those passengers actually meets up with these test subjects? I'm not saying that's the case, but I wonder now, considering, you know, how mind-fucky everything's getting over here. Well, that's interesting indeed. John Garriott, engineer, developer, pers purposeful, highly intelligent, and he's somehow not in here. Oh, oh, because he probably escaped. And these are all the weird-ass symbols we saw in the beginning of the game, in the quote-unquote first visitation, as I'm calling it, and we also saw them in that Bloodborne Mansion a couple of episodes back. What the fuck? Alrighty. Well, you know what? I think we're out of time here for today, guys. I'm going to come back next episode and maybe hopefully wrap this up. It feels like we're just about there at the very tip of the iceberg at the end of this game here. Plus, we haven't gone through this area just yet, too. There's a lot to investigate still. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a thumbs up. I will catch you next time.